What's up, Christ United Kids? I hope you're having an amazing day. Get your Bibles out because we are going to be digging into God's Word as we try to understand our verses for this week. Who remembers what they are? You guys repeat after me. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. All right, so we've talked about what it means to trust in the Lord. We've talked about yesterday what it means to lean not on our own understanding. So what's the next part of the verse? It says, in all our ways, acknowledge him. In all our ways, acknowledge him. What does that mean? Guys, that means that in every single situation, in everything we do, in everything that's happening around us, we need to acknowledge, which means remember, which means be reminded and give God the glory and know that it's God. So, I hope you've got your Bibles out. I'm going to share two of my favorite verses about this, okay? There are lots and lots and lots of times in my life where I want to lean on my own understanding or when I just don't understand what's happening in this world. Maybe something has gone wrong. Maybe I'm confused. Maybe I am sad or something has happened to someone in my family. Those are all times when maybe I'm just like, oh, I trust you. I'm not going to lean on my own understanding, but how do I acknowledge him? How do I acknowledge God? Psalms is one of my favorite books in the Bible because it is full of songs and prayers that people just like me and just like you wrote, crying out to God. Lots of times crying out to God when their life seemed crazy, crying out to God when they were sure unsure if they were going to live or if they were going to die, crying out to God with amazing thanksgiving for all that he has done for them. The Psalms is amazing. It's one of my favorites. And today we're going to be in two different ones. We're going to start in Psalm 46 and we are going to read verse 10. One of my favorites. It tells us exactly how in those moments when we are trying to trust God and trying not to lean on our understanding, how we acknowledge him. It says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Guys, God wants us to always remember that in those times of craziness, in those times of stressed out, in those times of sadness, we just need to be still and know that he is God. He's in control. He loves us. He is with us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Turn over to Psalm 100, and we're going to read verse 3, all right? Psalm 100, verse 3. It says, know that the Lord is God. That's what acknowledging him is. It's knowing in our mind, in our heart, in our soul. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Guys, God is with us. And when things are going crazy in our world, when we might be sad or upset or whatever's going on, when we feel like we need to trust him, we need to trust him, we need to lean not on our under understanding, and then we need to acknowledge, we need to know that he is God. He is on the throne. He made us. He loves us. And I don't know about you, but I am so thankful for that truth today. So let's pray and thank him for it. Dear Jesus, thank you so much. God, we thank you that no matter what is happening in our life today, that you are God. Help us to acknowledge you. Help us to, to know and to remember 
and to count on that you are God. You are with us and you love us and we love you. God, we trust you with everything that's going on in our lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And all God's children said, amen. All right, guys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow when we learn the rest of the Bible verse.